We're going to be planting these sweet potatoes in our garden. They actually grow underground. We just made the holes before. The 20 holes because we think there's 20 in here. So let's do the challenge. All right, so we're going to be talking today about planting sweet potatoes. And before we get over there to the, the final row in the garden and get them planted, I'm just stopping by and giving some water to some of these plants that are looking a little wilted. This was a very hot day. I was uh, filming this video on my lunch break. And so, like some of these plants that had just been transplanted, we're having a little bit of a hard time, even though the soil was pretty damp. Uh, as you can see, towards the start of the garden, it's starting to dry out, and there was a lot of, a lot of heat. So we just wanted to give them a little drink. Now, what can you tell them about what we're going to do back there? We are actually going to plant the sweet potatoes. We have actually little tiny sweet potatoes on there. It's kind of cute. But <laughs> well, these are just slips. There's no sweet potatoes on there right now. Yeah. What happens is these slips, it, it, when they grow, a sweet potato looks more like a ground cover or a vine on the ground. Um, but underneath, on their roots, they'll grow these sweet potatoes. And I think one slip can grow um, a few different sweet potatoes on there. They're kind of like regular potatoes in that way. And really, really neat. Now these slips we bought off eBay, but you can grow some yourself. How would you do that? We would probably just get some from the pantry that in a dark space or whatever, and they might grow some slips, which we can just pull off. Yeah, so sweet potatoes grow these, and like I said, we bought these off eBay. If we would have been paying attention um, before the planting season, we would have saved a couple of our nice big sweet potatoes, tried to get some slips to grow off of there. You pull them off, and you put them in a cup of water and let them start growing some roots on there, and then when they, they get nice and strong, then you can take them outside and you plant them. Now, it probably would have been a little better to plant these in the morning or in the evening, um, but they've done really well since we did it. Uh, I just made sure that we we kept them covered, and we didn't try to plant too many at a time before we covered them up with the soil and gave them a little drink of water, right? Right. Yeah. Here's Devlin back there, watering one of the newly planted slips. And one of them that we planted before are trying to like escape the actual lump of <laughs> dirt trying to yeah go so they'll path. yeah the the sweet potatoes as they start vining out and they're they are ground cover they'll spread there's a couple things that you can actually do um back in utah when we lived there we had sweet potatoes one year in one of the raised beds and as kind of like a strawberry they'll send out runners and you can just Poke those underneath the ground, and they will start forming roots and grow more sweet potatoes there. It's pretty cool. Yes. Yeah. One of the challenges, I think, with the way that we have this here is we did till this area. This is a freshly tilled spot. Uh, we didn't have a garden like this last year. And uh, I think that we might be running into an issue where this ground could be a little hard. We, before we... Um, started planting and making the rows, we did spread out some lime, which should help break up that clay a little bit, but I am a little concerned. When it comes time this fall to harvest our sweet potatoes, uh, I hope that the ground isn't too compact and too hard, because it's going to be really hard to get those sweet potatoes out of the ground yes. without damaging them. But one thing that you can do is you try to find out how far down they grew and you can use a uh, pitchfork and put it down underneath where you think they might be and then just kind of shake it and lift and try to loosen up that dirt so that you can uncover the sweet potatoes without breaking them. Yes, that's a good idea to do. You remember that for me so that we don't forget. Okay. <laughs> All right, when it comes time to harvest, that's what we'll do. But yeah, like I said... Uh, 
the sweet potatoes so far, this is an older video. This is about a month ago that we shot this video. But they're doing really well, aren't they? Yeah, they're like not so big. And then one just shot off a vine across the pathway. Yeah, we had to kind of tell it to get back to where it was supposed to be growing, huh? Yeah. But that's pretty exciting because that means that we're going to have some good sweet potatoes, I think. Yes, I think so. Which, we did have a good idea with that pitchfork, which we have one for the compost. Yeah, we'll just have to clean it off before we start digging up our sweet potatoes. Yeah. And just in case we nick one of them or something, like we stab into it, so we don't get it with compost bacteria. But yeah. that's a good idea. That's a good idea. I think we'll do that. So while we're back in the background planting these sweet potato slips, what are some of the things that you're the most excited about with our garden this year? That we are going to get a lot of free food, pretty much, like from all those plants, like the ones that Mom really wanted, which is a one that we're not really talking about right now. Well, what is it? What are some of the things Mom's really excited about that you, you think? Uh, we already have a lot of them. We have one black cherry tomato, one Bradley tomato, which is one, but the other one, we forgot what it's called. <laughs> what about the zucchinis and the yellow squash? Oh, yes, about those. That'll be good, We huh? also have some pickling cucumbers and stuff growing, and we have some beautiful tigger mounds growing. Oh, yeah, we never eaten those before. Very excited. You can see behind, or in front of us, we're standing behind a trellis fence made out of two-inch chicken wire there, and we already have our tigger melons growing up there. They're about halfway up the wire so far, aren't they? Yes. So already, in just a, a few short weeks, the garden is starting to transform and look a lot more luscious. Yes, and one of the sides, one of the... Tigger melons actually have a whole bunch of flowers. Yep. Well, our video is almost over. Is there any last thing that you'd like to mention? Oh, yes. My pepper. Yeah. It's a sweet pepper, like a gypsy sweet pepper. Oh, that'll be good. One sad thing was we did get a horned tomato worm on it, and it ate most of the leaves off of it. But we were able to get two of the peppers. So far. So far, and it's starting to regrow leaves. We'll have to do another video about yes. that, won't we? Yes. Hello there. I'm glad you're still here. I'm Marshmallow from Haphazard Farm. Please like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date with the latest of our videos.